Find the directions in which the functions increase and decrease most rapidly at point p sub 0, then find the derivatives of the functions in these directions. You have a function right here and you have a point right here. You want to begin by finding the gradient of this function. So derivative of this function in terms of x is 2x plus y. i plus derivative of this function in terms of y is x plus 2yj. Now you want to find the gradient with the points. So plug in the points for x and y. x is negative 1 y is 1, you get negative 1 plus 2y, which is 1, there you go. Now you want to evaluate, you have 2 times negative 1 is negative 2 plus 1, i plus negative 1 plus 2 times 1 is 2, so negative 1 plus 2, let's just write negative 1 plus 2 here first, okay. Evaluate again, you get negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1. i plus negative 1 plus 2 is 1, j. This is your gradient. Now, you want to find the magnitude of the gradient. So, the magnitude is square root of the values added together squared. You have. 1 plus 1, which is square root of 2. This is the magnitude. To find the function, the direction in which the function increase most rapidly, it will be the gradient over its magnitude. So you have the gradient over its magnitude right here. So this is when the function increase most rapidly, okay? And to find the function, the direction in which the function decrease most rapidly, it's just the opposite of this. So opposite in signs, you have opposite of negative 1 over square root is 1 over square root. I, and instead of plus, it will be a minus 1 over square root j. This will be decrease most rapidly. And to find the derivatives of the functions in these directions, it would be its magnitude. So for the one that decreases, for the one that increases most rapidly, the magnitude will be square root of 2. And for the one that decreases most rapidly, the magnitude will be negative square root of 2. And that is it.